Shalom friends. I'm so excited to introduce you to this video series on kosher speech. Kosher speech is the Jewish spiritual practice of being careful with our words and of having an awareness that our words have tremendous power to harm or to help our relationships. So I'm excited to dive into this mitzvah, to study with you, to learn with you, to hear about your personal experiences. And I also invite you to join us in our Neshama community for any of our upcoming events, either online or in person. You can find all of our information at niboka.org. And I would love to see you. So here we go, kosher speech. Kosher speech number three, mi'ut sicha, minimum of speech. We've been studying the value of silence as we learn from the book of Kohelet, Ecclesiastes 3.7, there is a time for silence and a time for speaking. So the million dollar question is, how do we know which is which? Here are some Jewish guidelines. Don't interrupt. Don't speak before someone who is wiser. Don't rush to reply. Acknowledge the truth. Acknowledge what we don't know. Stay on topic. There are many other considerations, but the general Jewish value is to proceed with extreme care and only to proceed with words once we've done our own self-reflection. Before we speak, we can ask ourselves two questions. One, am I really listening? Meaning, have I heard the other's words and intentions and maybe some unspoken messages? Have I done my part as a listener as well as I can? Is it really my turn to speak? And two, am I ready to speak? Meaning, am I speaking for conversation's sake or for argument's sake? Am I open-hearted or agitated? Do I know enough about this subject to speak up or am I just chatting to pass the time? Is this the conversation I really want to have? Are we talking about the real issue here or some cover story for something deeper? Jewish tradition is very clear that silence is generally preferred to oversharing or rambling on with too many words. Proverbs 10:19 teaches, when there is much talking, there is no lack of sin, but the one who curbs the tongue shows sense. Obviously, no talking at all is unrealistic for the daily logistics of our lives. We all need to know, what's for dinner? Has anyone seen my phone? There's a conference call in 10 minutes. These basic conversations are pretty easy to manage. But in more substantial conversations, especially in moments of conflict, asking ourselves these questions and abiding by these Jewish guidelines can change everything. Kosher speech has tremendous power to elevate our souls and deepen our relationships. Let's keep working on this together. Thank you for learning with me and being part of our Neshama community.